have arrived! New York, New York! Yeah, baby! So anyway, welcome back to the adventure vlog. We have a very packed weekend ahead of us. Full of fun and adventure? A lot. We have a lot of things we're trying to hit in the next like four days, so let's go! expectations of where we were going to end up but I got this hotel with my credit card points through IHG International Hotel Group like a traveler card with Chase Bank we're literally in Times Square we go downstairs and it's Times Square like I'm looking at the Disney sewer from here Hi. Um, can I just do a cappuccino, please? Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Our first official stop had to be for coffee. We're both feeling a little sleepy after the flight. And headaches. But we're ready to wake up and see the world. Look, it's 2024. Well, it's the spot. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> I know you probably don't want my commentary right now, but this is blowing my mind. It also reminds me of someone who's like, I forgot to take a video, but we got this delicious schnitzel and lamb chop with mashed potatoes. We destroyed it, obviously. So it came to the end of our night out, and on the way home, we decided why not just stop at Dave and Buster since we have to pee anyway. Let's um, take this little this little detour and uh, go to Dave and Buster's. This is crazy. How is this not Vegas? I don't understand. We're going over here. Yeah. Also, I literally hailed my own cab, which was crazy because that's not like a thing. I feel like I've never experienced that before. I literally raised my hand and like stepped semi into the street. And all of a sudden, this guy went four lanes across and just pulled up to us in, in a second. It was crazy. David Busters is low key. Logan, we used to play this all the time. This is our me and the girls. This would be our competitive ass Logan, game. I told you that I love this game too. Shut up. I'm not good at it. <laughs> Nice! 
Major prize! <laughs> It's officially our first full day in New York City. I want to talk first impressions. Well, well, my first impression of the Krispy Kreme store. <laughs> this looks pretty legit. That's what you need. That shirt? Yeah. <laughs> or do I need to be the Statue of Liberty holding Krispy Kreme? <laughs> What'd you say? How many donuts do you think we make a day? Over under thousand. Over for sure. There's over like two hundred right there. Let's get two bags because I'm sold on this one. Can we get an original glazed and a what one? A glazed blueberry cake. Okay, so talking about first impressions. I feel like this is so, like, this is what I imagined. We literally were talking to a girl. Her friend's names were Rory and Kaplan. Like, that is the most New York thing I could have ever imagined. <laughs> so we get here to Liberty Bagels, and the line is, like, down the road. <laughs> it must be worth it, though, right? Okay, they make their all their own cream cheeses here. This looks crazy. A birthday cake cream cheese? Honey bacon sriracha. Oh, I see what they're saying, the pink bagels and the... I see you try um, scaling. You need to find a bench. I'm gonna go sit on that rock like those people. But like park. Is it also just used for like Oh my gosh. So we've come to Central Park to enjoy our bagels. I'm excited, this is beautiful. I feel like it will look very different when the foliage is all blossoming, but it is beautiful. And it's really, we're very blessed with the weather that we've had today so far, and this weekend so far. It's ice skating time. It's ice skating time. Let's do it. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh my. All right, we have to put our rink sticker from the rink onto the wall. It's like the gum wall in Seattle. <laughs> it trans, it transformed. We're currently entering Grand Central Station, which as of 20 minutes ago, I had no idea why it was famous. I just knew that it was. But this, oh my God. Oh my gosh, look at it. It's the, there's actually constellations. And birds. <laughs> That's funny. This is beautiful. So basically what I just learned is that it's a lot of what made New York what it is today because of the um, amount and size of the transportation and everything. It's well, important because it got people from point A to point B in such a large scale. What made New York? New York. I didn't realize this is like a legit airport. This is like a mall. Like there's like clothing store 
Chanel. Swatch. We just were in like a crystal shop. This is blowing my mind because I never realized that this is like this is like a legit mall. Look at all the dining and shopping in Grand Central Station. Black bars, you see, for that They're closing for the Super Bowl. All right, so this is our pivot because the other place was closed or closing due to the Super Bowl. John Suizaria. Logan followed some, what's his name, Dave? Barstool. Lo Logan follows some Barstool guy, Dave, who rates pizza. And this one got pretty high as well as the other place we were trying to go. So. We're gonna split. Side 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 side. We're gonna split everything. Okay. But can we get the hot cherry peppers on the side? Do you want the hot super set on the side too? Okay. Traditional pizza with pepperoni. Small traditional pepperoni. Okay. Call that a day. Will that be all? Yeah. That's I think it. so. Thanks a ton. Yeah. Cheers. Enjoy, guys. Right? Thank, you. Thank you. Cheers, me. This is wild. How they put it us? It looks like a ton. <laughs> I was left unaware that the drinks were going to be 10 and a half ounces. Finally fulfilling my dream of drinking a Manhattan in Manhattan. Life is good. So it turns out John's over here, back here, has 10 ounce martinis, meaning- 10 and a half. Yeah. 10 ounce martinis, which means that's literally like the average three drinks in one for like 20 bucks, which really isn't bad if you think about how much, but we're gonna be like messed up seeing this Broadway show. Like, <laughs> I could not even finish. I think I drank half Where of that Manhattan. <laughs> but time for Aladdin. Oh. So we made it in and obviously we can't film any of the show, but we will give you all of our thoughts afterwards. Um, we're at the New Amsterdam Theater. Seeing Aladdin. We got all the resumes. Okay, if you see here, ten and a half ounce oversized martini. We're back. We had to come back. And the Super Bowl's on, not that I care. Nothing better. Six hours later. Alright. Alright, you're good. I'm learning apparently a chopped cheese is a, a New York thing. Can you explain what it is? I don't know. Basically, a Philly cheesesteak, New York style. Wow, talk about the strobe light. Okay, we made it into the Harrison. <laughs> yup, we're sold. We are, that's what we want for sure. <laughs> Oh. Oh, really? What do you think, Log? I'm you know the Nutella's for me. I like Nutella. We, Nutella. we had to come for dessert. The Harrison let us take this to go, even though they were closing. It looks delicious. Nutella cheesecake. Yeah. They were like, we're closed. We're like, we just want to grab a cheesecake. He's like, to go? We're like, yeah. It's like this is New York cheesecake. Is that a thing? Mm-hmm. New York cheesecake is a thing? Mm -hmm. I had no idea. Here. Yeah, that looks delicious. Taste no, they're the same thing. Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> the big bitty. 
All right, we got this cookie fresh out the oven. They told us to wait five minutes before eating it. We got this from the Funny Face Bakery, which is like so popular, understandably so. There's such creative cookies in there, and I'm really excited to eat just like the classic because it looks delicious. I want to try it. Nitro infused matcha. I can't even grab it. Oh my gosh, it's like mushy in the middle. Oh, yeah, let's go. Maybe the best cookie I've ever mm. had. It's like dough. It's doughy on the inside. It's that good, mushy, good stuff. Mmm. Oh, that's crazy. You guys should open one up in Chicago. <laughs> yeah. We are currently in the MoMA Museum, which is the Museum of Modern Art. But it's where the store for it. I don't know if I said that part. So much cool art and like in modern life. Like there's a whole line of like, um, there's like lamps and puzzles and kitchen tools and utensils. Like it's awesome. And it's all sorts of different like live art. Okay, so it was just the Chinese New Year like a, two days ago, a day ago, so literally all this confetti in the street is left over from that. That's so we're entering Chinatown for sure. <laughs> We're about to try this dim sum from this Michelin star. Where's the Michelin? Michelin star. I will definitely say price is reasonable on that. Also, the, ye the yolk bun we just ate, it was good. I wasn't expecting it to be like sweet, but Logan knows what's up. Um, also, I would say our chi this Chinatown is so different than our Chinatown, but just in the way of like, this one feels a little more authentic. And I think it's like I think that the Chinatown in Chicago feels more like, um, like consumerist, like the way that it's set up. Even like, do you, do you know what I mean? I do. Would you agree? I would. So yeah, in comparison of Chinatowns, that's how I feel. This one feels a lot more like authentic with like yeah. the businesses and the people and everything. But I'm gonna eat this. This is like a vinegar. That's like a sweet. Oh my god, you gotta get in here. We're going like right here somewhere, I think. And then we're gonna end up okay. up there for dinner. restaurant it's called Nisi and it's all over like social media or whatever but we thought we'd try it for ourselves and we got the kitchen counter seats so we can see watching them prepare our artichokes as we speak I'm interested to see what the portion sizes are gonna be like. I'm I feel like the antipasti is gonna be small and the pasta is probably bigger than the pasta but I feel like it'll be smaller but I'm excited this is super it's cool and then gelato and then gelato I've been wanting gelato yeah. We had our first like course, our first part of the meal. Already delicious for sure. Everyone around us has this whipped ricotta like toast basically. It's like a famous TikTok thing. It's viral. Whatever. But our server was very honest with us that it's kind of overhyped. Which we didn't try it, so I can't say for sure, but I'm really happy with the decisions we made so far. Uh, It's gonna melt. She's like, you melt my heart. 
Oh, that's funny as fuck. One. Please have one. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you doing? Is it just Yeah, How about you? Oh, awesome. Thank you. Uh, I like that it's like a legit piece. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. We found this speakeasy and it was absolutely phenomenal. The bartenders were so knowledgeable and everything that we drank was incredible. Okay, Ramos Gin Fizz by our new friend Sam, the bartender. When we woke up to snow the next morning, our trip had come to a close. Off to the airport we go. And just like that, we are back home. Well, I'm back home. I loved New York. I definitely think that four days was just not enough because there's still so much we didn't see. We didn't go up into the Statue of Liberty. We didn't see Ground Zero. There's a lot of like the big things that you, you know, traditionally would see in New York that we didn't. Um, so just, it's a sign for me to go back there. I will say a couple things. The city was dirty. It did kind of smell like pee most of the time and it, it is expensive i mean everything that you hear about that part is true it is expensive it's not exactly budget friendly but there there are ways to do it on a budget um but when it comes to like food and drinks like the prices are high i do have another video coming out about what we ate and drank throughout the weekend giving like a whole price breakdown of what it's like to eat in new york so make sure you're subscribed for that um and if you're not ready to walk a lot also might not be for you. We walked so much. Granted, we had a lot of things we wanted to see and do and places to go. And you could always like Uber and taxi and take the subway. So there's like options for transportation, but it's a big city. There's a lot to see. We, we did a lot of walking. Broadway totally exceeded my expectations. Aladdin, the show Aladdin was phenomenal. The genie was incredible. Aladdin was incredible. I wish I could have like shown you what that was like. And obviously that's illegal and you just have to go for yourself. But there's my encouragement. Um, and lastly, I do not think we got a good sample size of what the average New York apartment looks like for the price because all of our friends that we were hanging out with they all had beautiful apartments for like pretty decent rent rates. So I feel like we were played <laughs> because everyone says, you know, a nice apartment, a spacious apartment in New York City is like impossible to find for anything under like X amount of grand. But it just doesn't seem like that's true. So there are definitely options. It does help to know people. But regardless, keep your eyes peeled for the next New York vlog. And until then, keep living large. I'll catch you on the flip.